It's a new way of working. We're seeing a real difference, not just to patients and their families, but also staff experiencing a much better workplace. There's less aggression, there's more engagement from the patients, and there's just there's joy around the workplace. We really wanted to test music and memory in many different settings. It wasn't something that we'd really thought about and I think not, not something that a lot of people in the health system had really considered as part of the treatment regime or as part of engagement. So we've gone to mental health and trauma units and rehab units, aged care units. So really trying to test it across a number of different settings and it seems to be having some great successes so far that we've seen. We have a very definite brief and our brief is to offer placement to those um, residents who don't fit the criteria of general aged care. We specialise in Huntington's disease. The movements are quite aggressive when they move. It's not that they're being aggressive, it's just it's quick, sharp, aggressive and uncontrollable. All right, we're going to put your music on, John. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can sit down and We watched the Catalyst program. Our first thought was, I wonder how it would benefit our residents with Huntington. So we were quite determined that we wanted to participate in the study. You want to do the ball now? Go ah. and catch the ball. Ball? All right. Okay, we'll move ah. Ah. They can focus on the exercise a little bit more and I guess you could call it their aim or their control over their movement is more pronounced when they've got their music on. It will help with their muscle tone and their flexibility. But for them to have a little bit of control and to be able to follow through with things and to have a target that they're meeting and, and to be able to record that they're actually improving is very good for their self-esteem. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Okay. We've used music and memory in not only dementia clients, but also um, clients with depression and pain and it has been very, very successful. What we're encouraging our residents to do before they come in, they to have an advanced care plan, but a part of that advanced care plan is to actually put down the songs that they would like on the individual music playlist. We identified that a lady by the name of Shirley would be our priority in getting individualised music for her. She was absconding from the um, facility and she was trying to find a home, not knowing where her home was. My staff would spend hours outside the facility trying to get her back. Now she wouldn't want to come back, so it would take a while for that to happen, so they could be off site for nearly two hours. She was on the road, she was walking down the road, there was traffic coming. It was extremely stressful for all of us and it was upsetting for her family. We had alarms put on the doors and as soon as you'd hear the alarm go off, you'd have to rush down to make sure that Shirley wasn't leaving. And we just didn't feel like we were doing her jo our job keeping her safe. We made our individualised music playlist for her and we decided as soon as she showed any sign of any agitation, even just a little bit of increase in pacing, on went the music. She has not left this facility in over eight months. She hasn't been wanting to leave. This is her home now. Sean O'Malley, he was the patient that we needed to show, I guess, the rest of the staff how this works. And until we had Sean, 
Um, it was a little bit of a challenge getting uh, buy-in from our staff here on the ward. But Sean kind of changed that. I didn't realise it was going to go that big from something so small, from where Dad was to how happy he was. I think everyone can kind of um, understand. It's such a big emotional journey. Your mum or dad, you know, go through like this. When he first came into the hospital and onto the ward here, um, he was quite agitated, um, he was quite aggressive. Um, there were numerous occasions where we needed to call security um, to help um, try and manage his behaviours. Um, we were on the phone constantly to his daughter, Trish, um, to try and get her to calm him down, to settle him. Um, often it was only her that he, she, he would respond to. It, it was just wanting to hurt people and that's not my job. It's not nice to see um, our patients so distressed like that. And then when we put him on the program and it was almost a change overnight. It's music. It's, it's just amazing what a, 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 like artists and uh, instruments can do to help and bring hope back into someone's life. It's um, a great sedative, calmative. Um, it's an antidepressant. Um, it's fun. Lots of fun. Yeah, lots of fun. We've had lots of fun doing this. Yeah. I think it's very important to have um, a happy workplace and we know a lot of studies have shown that happy staff lead to happy patients. The satisfaction and experience that both sides, staff and patients get is much better when they're both uh, engaged. That's the memories. That, that's, that keeps me going. You think of those songs and they're the, what we want. We want plenty of it.